Hey everybody, it's AJ here and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at Google Drive versus Microsoft OneDrive to see which is the best value for your money. Firstly, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody that voted in this week's poll. I'll post the results up for you right now. So let's start by defining what is Google Drive and what is Microsoft OneDrive. Essentially, they are cloud services provided by Google and by Microsoft for you to store your data, photos, videos, documents, and things of that nature on their cloud instead of on your hard drive. Using Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive come with a host of different benefits, including using somebody else's storage, which is safer, more secure, you can access your documents and data from everywhere. And of course, they each give you individual features that a lot of them are free, but some of them you have to pay for in their premium services as well. Being a cloud-based product, both Google Drive and OneDrive are accessible from basically any device that has an internet connection. So whether you have a Windows PC, an iPad, a Mac, an iPhone, an Android phone, an Android tablet, basically Linux devices, basically anything that has an internet connection, you can access your data from the internet. So the question is, why would anyone need to use Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive instead of using their own storage? I think mobile phones and their increased camera quality over the years has played a big role in the rise in the need for online storage, because as you're taking photos and videos and documenting these snapshots of your life, the question tends to be asked, what happens if I lose my phone, if I get a new phone, if something happens to it? And of course you can plug it into a computer and back it up to a hard drive, but that's time consuming and of course that hard drive isn't always safe and secure which naturally you want a software or a program which is easy simple and it's running in the background always updating and saving your data this is where drives like google drive and microsoft OneDrive really come into play because as you're taking these photos and videos and documents of your life they are automatically backing everything up for you to access at a later point in time both Google and Microsoft offer you a free Drive account that's connected to your Gmail and your Microsoft account respectively. With Google, your free account gives you 15 gigs of storage and it gives you access to the G Suite online productivity tools. Where Microsoft, you only get five gigs for free with your online storage, but you also get access to the online version of Microsoft Office. So when you compare the free versions of Google Drive versus Microsoft OneDrive, Google gives you triple the amount of storage and access to their G Suite of productivity tools, Microsoft gives you a third of that, you only get five gigs of storage, but you also get access to the more robust and more user-friendly, in my opinion, Microsoft Office Suite, which is accessible only online. If your main goal for using one of these drives though is for online storage, well then Google Drive is the winner. But because both these drives are free, there's actually nothing stopping you from using the 15 gigs that you get from the Google Drive, and then also using the Microsoft Office Suite online with your Microsoft account as well. It might just be a little bit confusing though jumping from one to the other. Of course though, most people are gonna end up paying for storage because as time goes on and you're taking more photos, more videos, and of course as the quality of your camera improves, they take up more storage. And people are gonna end up going from their free Gmail or their free Microsoft account, and they're gonna end up paying for some extra storage to make sure their photos, videos, and documents are backed up. And this is where I reckon you have to be a little bit more picky about whether you go down the Google Drive or the Microsoft OneDrive offering. When you bump up from their free drives, so Google you get 15 gigs and with Microsoft you get five. Google it's $2.49 in Aussie dollars to go from 15 to 100 gigs of online storage. With Microsoft it's a little bit more expensive. It's $3 per month for that same 100 gigs of storage. So when you're looking at going from the basic to the first tier of their pricing structures, Google wins because you're paying $2.49 per month opposed to Microsoft OneDrive, which is $3. It's a couple of cents there, but I think if you're getting the exact same service, which is online storage, Google is the winner on the first tier. But where things actually get a lot more interesting and where I'd recommend you to look is actually at their most expensive plans. Google Drive offers you two terabytes of online storage for $12.49 per month. And that is a whole lot of storage. Two terabytes, 2000 gigs is huge. And you can share that with other people to also use your storage. But in Google's top plan, you also only get access to the G Suite, which is the exact same G Suite you get in the free version. So really for 1249, you're paying for a massive amount of storage from five gigs to 2000 gigs, but you're getting the same access to the free version of the G Suite. Microsoft, on the other hand, their premium, their top, their number one online storage service is Microsoft 365's family. And this is gonna cost you $13 per month. 
So it's a little bit more expensive than the Google top plan, but here's what you get. You end up getting the family plan, which can be shared between you and five other people. So that's six users all together. Every single user gets a terabyte of storage. So you're getting six terabytes to share between six people or 6,000 gigs, which is for 50 cents more, you're getting three times the amount of Google's already massive two terabyte. But where it gets even more ridiculous is that all of those six users get access to the full Microsoft Office suite on their computer. And not just that, they're not just downloading at one time, each user can download it five times. So that means for $13 per month, you're not only getting up to six terabytes of storage, but you're getting up to 30 downloads of the full Microsoft Office suite. And this can be put on Windows, on PC, on Mac, and of course your iPad and your phone devices. So at the top end of the battle of Microsoft OneDrive versus Google Drive, OneDrive in my opinion is the clear winner because for 50 cents more, you're getting three times the amount of storage than what Google gives you, which that alone is worth the 50 cents per month. But then you and six other people are getting access to the entire Microsoft Office suite for your personal devices as well. Now you might be thinking, AJ, that's fine. I don't need a terabyte, two terabytes, six terabytes of storage. So I'm happy with the 100 gig version. And that's where I'd say, if you're happy with that, Google Drive for a few cents cheaper is the clear winner there because you're getting the same 100 gigs for a little bit less money. But the way I'd look at it is, if you're gonna pay $13 per month for Microsoft OneDrive and share that between six people, that actually works out between you and five others. You're gonna end up paying $2.20 per month and that's gonna give you a thousand gigs of storage and it's gonna give you the full Microsoft Office suite. So I'd really recommend if you're looking at paying for storage, why not pool it with a few people and end up getting Microsoft's premium plan instead of just paying for some extra storage on your Google Drive. Just so you guys know, I've happily been paying for the Microsoft 365 family plan for the past five years, and I share that with my family. The beauty of this is that I know that they're all having their photos, their documents, and their videos backed up to their OneDrive account. They all have the Microsoft Office Suite downloaded on their computer so they can access it when they need it, and it's just a peace of mind that it all goes into one easy subscription. So in my opinion, and of course, because I have been doing this for the past few years, I'd recommend getting the Microsoft 365 family plan and sharing it with a few other people. You get a lot of value for your money. And of course, as you're taking more photos, more videos and creating more documents, you're eventually gonna end up needing more storage anyway. That's my thoughts on the Google Drive versus OneDrive comparison. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.